whatever it takes to defeat him. There's a scenario that all poker players fall into at least once. They call it tilt. Tilt, simply put, is when a player will lose their objectivity to emotion, then lose the game. A man's most crushing loss is always to himself. You have regained consciousness. It's a miracle! You had broken bones everywhere. At first, we thought you were already dead. Do you remember what happened to you? I remember. Even I lost the game once. And the price was... my very life. You're not cleared for duty, Charlie. Commander's orders. So he sends you to stop me? I don't care if it's the brass in my way, or just you. I'm stopping Shadaloo and Bison. What happened to you, Charlie? Where's that calm and cool demeanor? If you go this alone, you're not coming back. Please, Charlie, at least let me help. No, you have a family to go home to. I'm going to stop them alone. I have to do it. Charlie. I think your memory is back already. Do you remember when you fought with Bison? I remember. And what happened after that? Yes. So we finally meet, Bison. Well, well. The appearance of the brave man of justice from the American military. Everything you know. What's the connection between you and our military's top brass? <laughs> Did they really betray me? Could they? Could they have? It wasn't only the high-ranking officers. Comrades worked against you as well, under the orders of Bison. And now? Currently, you are considered missing in action. In fact, everybody thinks you were killed that day. And the world moved on. This must be so hard for you. My condolences. And now, it looks as if Bison is in another bid for world conquest. Do you know where Bison is? No, I'm sorry. I still don't know where he is. But I do have some other information. If you help me, I'll give you all the information I have. Would you be interested? <sighs> don't worry. Just give it some thought. For now, why don't you go out for a couple of days and see the world? You can see what you've missed and you might have a good time. You must be a member of Shadowloo. Now where's Bison? Let me go! I'm in a hurry! Huh? Wow. Not something you see every day. Talk! <laughs> Ooh, scary! You punk. That psycho power. Assaulting a miner's illegal, you know. You better watch out. That power is... That doesn't matter. I'd be more worried about yourself. Aren't you supposed to be dead? Since you're oblivious, here's some free advice. Dead bodies generally don't move around or fight people. I wouldn't bet much on your body lasting too long. <laughs> so I wouldn't waste my time hanging around here if I were you. Wait a second, you little brat. Now I've got that fool Balrog just... Huh? Another from Shadowloo?
Have you made up your mind? I guess so. Wonderful. Then, why don't we start? A man's most crushing loss is always to himself. But it is also only he that can prevail over himself. I am not going to lose again. I've lost my world, my friends, everything. But I won't lose this anger or this hatred. I'll kill Bison. And no one will stop me. Time has come to unleash hell. Jade Goat, this is Crimson Viper. Goat, do you copy? Okay. The target's been sighted. I'll begin the operation. Shadowloo's leader, Bison. So many people have lost their lives in pursuit of this man. Yeah, just like he did. So we finally meet, Bison. Charlie Nash, a U.S. Air Force officer, and one of the people who is pursuing Bison. Lord Bison, Commander of Shadaloo, you're under arrest. You'll be questioned once the evac chopper gets here in five minutes. Interesting. Enjoy this time, as it will be the very last five minutes of your life. There's no way he could have known that Bison's power had already surpassed far beyond the bounds of Nash's imagination. Five minutes gone by already. Not yet! There they are! <laughs> Why? Die! Is that... Lord Bison! Fon, master of the Poison Hands, newest general of Shadaloo, and the sole survivor of a cartel that was obliterated by Bison after a coup. The Nguha was a huge cartel back then, and it was allegedly under Shadaloo's umbrella. You are all fools. After some time, the Nguha ceased to exist. Bison exterminated all but one of them. Poison doesn't work on me. <laughs> Please. 
Please forgive me. From now on, I'm eternally yours to command, Lord Bison. I have no need for loyalty. What? In Shadowloo, only those who wield true strength shall survive. You came against my power, and your strength is the only reason you're alive. If you lost that strength, your death would be certain. Survival is that simple. If you want a life in Shadowloo, show me that you can be of use. <sighs> what is the status of the operation? Yes! Out to report, all seven PSAs are in their final stage. The adjustments in our AS and dolls are coming along well, and we're currently testing them in a variety of scenarios. We're so close, we're so very close to finished. With everything in place, the world will be plunged into fear, and they will never again know respite from the absolute and powerful grip of Lord Bison. <laughs> a plan to conquer the world? As I thought. It looks like the engineers behind the missing hackers and SIN researchers was Shadowloo. But the reason why? I never thought Bison and Shadowloo's plans would be so grandiose. <laughs> he saw me. Huh? You, you mean there's a spy? They have no way of stopping. Soon everything will come to an end. Begin playing the endless walls. To think even now these dolls continue to be used. Only a beauty born from the flame of emotion is truly valuable. Yes, exactly like this one. Not done yet! <laughs> I can taste it. Your anguish is delicious. What did you... Why are you so desperately pursuing Shadowloo? Hatred? Or do you seek atonement? Shut up! Your eyes are dancing between the past and the present. It's beautiful. I told you to shut your mouth! <laughs> Are you trembling? kill you yet. It's much too early to pluck your beauty. Much too early. You may leave. <laughs> oh, I wasn't aware that you were here, Mr. Vega. Hmm. <laughs> the upgrades I applied to the new and improved dolls, were they to your liking? I have, of course, increased their combat power, but also enhanced their connection to psycho power. So now they will faithfully follow the orders of Shadowloo. They are perfect weapons. Do you not realize the ugliness of your own deeds? How pathetic. Huh? How dare you mock Shadowloo's second hand? You would be wise to mind your tone. <laughs> The 
This is perfect. Well then, allow me to teach you the hierarchy and your place in it. Ugly. Better than I thought. However... Pardon, sir. What is it? We have found body number 006. It's working in conjunction with Killer B. 006 and that eyesore Killer B working together? We will remove the traitor, and then we'll proceed to recalibrate 006. Where are they? Right here. Are you trying to escape? I'm tired of seeing your ugly face. <laughs> that contemptuous little bastard! I found you. Hmm? Oh, fun. Such boorishness. What's this? Why is she fighting so hard for a doll? The beauty of self-sacrifice will only last for a fleeting moment. Cammy! Not anymore. I'll never let any of you be used again. Being tormented by the shadow of your former self and how you suffered, that struggle was the very core of your beauty. In case you have forgotten, why don't I remind you? By waking that pain! and the grief of despair will serve to create a new beauty. But until that moment... How 
foolish of you. Throwing away the honor of serving Lord Bison for something like this. Shut up! I ain't gonna be doing this no more! <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be part of Shadowloo? Or did they fire you? They didn't free me. You're under arrest. Now's me chance to run! Hey! Get back here! To remember your face. What are you doing here? Uh, it's none of your business. Get lost. You can't speak to me that way. But you can keep me from being bored. Here you go. No way to Standing after that attack. <laughs> you do well to not underestimate me. You're a Shadowloo henchman, and I don't find it hard defeating Aaron boys. I ain't we Shadowloo no more. I'm very delicious. <laughs> I ain't never ate like this before. So tell me, why did you want to escape from Shadowloo? Why wouldn't I? I hate the way they handle business. The way they do things is terrible. Where is it Rick that I gotta wear this hat? Bastard! What do you think this will do to my brilliant style? No hat touches this hair! Hm. You are a member of Shadaloo. You must obey the policies that I put into place. Did you really go against Shadaloo? <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'd like to invite you to be a guest of the Kanzuki family. A house guest? Does that mean I can eat for free? If you'll follow my orders, whenever it is you're needed. Oh, sure. Who do you want me to thrash? Miss Karin. Betrayal is proof of an incapable leader. 
If this man were to betray me, it would only be indicative of my unworthiness. Now then, to help you digest, please do take out the trash. The Kanzukiryu 100-man kumite! What in the hell? He has never held back. Butling is a time-honored skill and tradition. Tonight's focus is the improvement of your auditory sense and the mastery of this strength. In order to anticipate your master's desires, simply through hearing the rhythm of their heartbeat. Truly a legend. He has such presence. Is this the purest form and strength of a butler? Hmm. <laughs> ah, with the speed and grace of the wind. <laughs> Lovely. Welcome back, Miss Karin. The ultimate technique passed to the Kanzuki heads of family. The Kanzuki Shikujutsu. Flawless. And how is the Prime Minister? He's well, if not a bit boring. It seems as if Birdie is still nowhere in sight. You, you just sent me ass of a tea kettle! How about some after-meal exercise? Huh? Haven't eaten none yet. <laughs> How considerate of you. But I just dined with the Prime Minister. Hey, I wasn't talking about your meal. Don't do. It hardly even works as a proper warm-up. Shibasaki? Miss, we've received a report that an old man who fights with his dominant hand sealed was seen in India. It is highly likely that this is the master of Senjutsu, who was locked into battle for three days with your grandfather, Master Kanzuki of 100 years ago. <laughs> Fighting with a legendary hermit. The thought excites me. Prepare for departure. Yes. Now, we press on to India. But, we just got here. Previously, I focused on teaching you the skill of the breathing flame. And today, the focus will be to teach you how to teleport your mind, spirit, and body to a different place. Hmm? This should be the right place. Hello, so nice to see you. What brings you here? You are far from home. Shibasaki? Yes. We received news. A master of Senjutsu is sighted near here. Would you know anything about it? Ain't he the super guy? He is floating. I'm afraid it is not me. Senjutsu and Yoga are both very powerful vehicles in seeking the truth. While their values are similar, they still differ greatly. I could feel all of these differences at the time when I encountered him. When was this? Just a few days ago. But I'm sure he has long since left this place. I do not sense his presence anywhere near here. Shall we pursue this? No, it looks like our timing was a bit off. We'll leave it for now. He'll come to us soon. Powerful forces attract like magnets. But...
There's an equal challenge right here in front of me. I can't turn my back on such an opportunity. Please wait. You're not serious. Jeeves! How long can this drag on? There's been so many rounds I've lost count! This is a secret technique created from Hado. A wellspring of fighting will to rise to any challenge. The Kanzukiryu Kata of unyielding insistence. Eh? She's mastered it so young. Miss Karin inspires us all. Oi, are you Minto? Mm. This is he. You did. Then please do- The essence of yoga. You have furthered your mastery of it. And your skill continues to impress. Your pure fist is a gift. You should continue to refine it. You will have to pardon me. Before you arrived, I was about to teach a policeman in the art of teleportation. Good luck on your journey. Is there something you can teach a bloke? Please do take care. Miss Curry. It's a terrible shame that I couldn't fight with the Hermit, but it's time we get going. Behold! My muscle of iron! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a twist of fate. It seems that destiny is calling. Ha! Ah, what a surprise! It's so good to see you. Oh, there are still some leftovers. That... that is... The art which the Kanzuki family has sought, even at the risk of their own lives. Able to overwhelm an opponent as far as 12,000 kilometers away. The ruler's staying hand! <sighs> She's overwhelming them with only the rhythmic movement of muscle. I must try this for myself. Muscle! <laughs> rid of that nuisance. Let's begin. Ah, we'll have eaten wet with no more distractions. <laughs> was absolutely amazing! Yes, that match positively burned with passion. The iron arm of the world-famous Red Cyclone. Such sharp movement with well-honed skill. I'll have to revise my data. Hm. Miss Cuddy. Yes, I know. Well then, till we meet again. <clears throat> Shibasaki, what's next on the itinerary? Well, after our negotiations with the Ninja Village, we can choose participants for a fighting tournament that will be held in New York. Then, review the invitation list for the party. 
And tomorrow, we have a meeting with the representatives of different countries concerning the planning of the Kanzuki Space College. I'm pretty sure he'll be somewhere around here. Uh, Master Sakia! Oh, so it's you, Mika. I have been hearing of your great achievements. Oh, no. Next to the achievements of the Red Cyclone, I've done nothing. Okay. As we've not seen each other, you will show me big new skills you developed in Rick. You ready for this? Yes! Thank you for giving me this chance! And finally, we achieve strongest muscle spirit. Muscle spirit. Muscle spirit! That sounds so cool! It would be an honor to join you on this journey. Damn it! Why is he following me? Even though I'm on a quest, I can't ignore your crime. Well, actually, it's because I'm on a quest that I can't ignore your crime. You can't just eat food and not pay for it! I didn't pay for it! Cause I got no money! Now kindly back off! This ain't got nothing to do with you! If I were to overlook your crime, I would never be able to face Master Zonky up again!
moves. But you're nowhere near as cool as Master Zongief. You know why? Because you don't have the strength of muscle spirit. I don't care. And I don't even know what you're talking about with this muscle whatever. It means, of course, that... Um... What is muscle spirit anyway? Let me know what you find out. See you never! Ah! Muscle spirit! Since Master Zongioff is seeking it, I'm positive it must be an incredible thing. And this girl, Lara, she's one of Zangief's grapple buddies. So I'm sure she must already be bursting with muscle spirit. This time, I'm going to get muscle spirit here and now. Thank you for having this match with me. Of course. Now show me the best you've got. Master Zongief, I don't think that my skills are developed enough yet. Mika, you have already inherited passionate spirit from me. When you stop there, you look fearless. Your spirit was burning hot with passion. Burning hot spirit? Oh! <gasps> That's right! The fusion of muscle and spirit! That is the muscle spirit! Only thing you need now is to continue muscle training until you are best ever. Muscle spirit! Since that's the case, we begin immediately. We both have become comrades in muscle spirit. Come, I know you are more than ready. Now we will fight together side by side. Master Zangia, I'm going to. I promise. I'll do my very best. It's for this reason, I'm going to travel the world and teach about muscle spirit. Now, let's build some muscle! Um, no thanks. I don't think there's anything I can learn from someone as passionately bossy as you. Bossy? Uh... But, weren't you listening to anything I was saying just now? The words, and the passion, and the greatness of Master Zangief. No, I just thought you were shouting a lot about nothing, so I tuned out. I was trying to be nice by helping you. Why don't we step outside? Just shut up! When I win, promise me you'll leave me alone. You've got some guts, but that won't keep me from beating the hell out of you. Don't underestimate me. After this is over, all you're gonna be seeing are stars. What did you say? Don't act so arrogant. 
You picking a fight with me? 